All right, so I found something else interesting. Uh, you can see this yard's got a little drought stress in it. Uh, this yard is irrigated. I'm um, we'll gonna recommend that they increase their water. You can actually see the tire tracks from the lawnmower where they're turning around right here and it's just scorching the grass just because it's so hot. But this is what I want to show you. You can see this little area here. And look at this. Look how dark green that grass is around it. All the way, it's almost a perfect little square. Let me get back right here so you can get a better look. See here? Right there? Well, <clears throat> my question is, does proper grading make a difference? Meaning when you, when you build a house or you redo your yard, I'm talking about the grade of the property, the, the flatness of it, the levelness of it, the smoothness, all that stuff combined. Let me show you. What happened is this, I don't know if this area has sunk in over time or what, but it's, the grade is off. That's why it looks like this. So if you come right here on this end and I'm gonna take this little flag and stick it down in the ground, you can see the depth, how deep the, uh, it is, the grass is, which the grass is cut too short for one thing, but you can see that. Now I'm gonna come right here on this area. Look at the difference. It's just barely going in the tip. I think my shadow's in the way. Right there, look at there. It's just barely covering the tip of it. Then you get over here on this side, it's the same thing, drops down. Now this grass is darker green. I bet you this is deeper. You wanna bet? Let me get it down. Yep. That grass is even deeper. That's actually about uh one two i'm gonna say that's roughly four inches maybe a touch over four inches but this grass is even greener than that grass i know it's hard for you to tell but i'm looking at it i can see but the point is what happens is this guy comes down through here mowing look at that tire track right there and there's the other tire track this guy comes down through here mowing and he hits this bump and then when he comes out of the bump the mower deck is now lower than the back tires, if that makes any sense. And what happens is the mower deck drops down right here because this is like a little hump. Well, actually this isn't a hump. This is pretty much level with the uh, rest of the, well, this part of the yard. It's the dips. There's dips in it right here. So dip goes here. I don't know if they buried a line in the past or what, or the irrigation trenches weren't leveled up um but that's what it is it's a dip that goes all the way around you can see this dark green strip of grass that's because it's low well if you put water in the bowl the water goes to the bottom of the bowl right so that's exactly what's happening here this is a this is a, a contour in the ground so the water is holding better than it is on this little you know this flat area this hump so the reason that is scalded or burnt like that is when that when the mower comes through the front tire drops down and you, you can see right back here there's a little scalped area where the front tire right rises back up and the back tire is back there the front tires up here it's back level again then when he comes through his uh back tires fall in therefore dropping the mower deck down and it and it burns that and it, and i bet you a million dollars his tire right is, is is right side or left side tire rides right here throwing the mower deck in a little bit of an angle so now it's at an angle and it's dropped down that's why it's scalping this area that's why it's burned up because it can't get any water i mean look how deep that is look it's just, I mean, it's not even an inch tall. Fescue can't handle that. Just can't. It's its not a, uh, you know, you've heard that saying, it's as tough as an anvil, because uh, you can't tear an anvil up or whatever. With fescue, it's an anvil. It is not that tough of a, of a turf grass. You can't skin it down 
like this in 95 degree temperatures and expect it to perform well it just don't work um not that type of grass bermuda yeah you could do this with bermuda and, and it heal right up and be fine next week but not fescue so to answer my original question do you need do you need proper grading work done when you do your yard or redo it or build a new house i would highly recommend it and i would also go as far as to say um if you're having a new yard a new house built or you're renovating your yard and you're going to kill it start over from scratch i would uh be incredibly peculiar over the grade work on the yard no bumps no dirt clods no nothing i want it as smooth as so you can roll a bowling ball across it that's how smooth i want it matter of fact my yard is that smooth i can take a full size 60 inch x mark and i can run across my yard wide open as fast as it'll go and never hit the first bump now i took uh when i redid my yard i spent about four days just on the grading that's it just the grade work alone was four days i had a land plane and it was just in it's incredibly smooth and slick and it's paid off in the long run when i mow my grass the grass out in the middle of the yard is four and a half inches tall just like it is over on the corner of the yard or over in this section my grass is tight and uniform across the entire yard because i spent that extra time getting it leveled up so if you're paying someone to do that um if you have to pay them a little extra, it's well worth it. Because once you do it, once you sow that grass seed and it starts coming in, you can still go back and fix it, but it's just a headache. So do it right the first time. Check you later.